After my last video on leaky gut, a lot of people asked me about supplements that I mentioned, especially glutamine, zinc carnosine, and Saccharomyces boulardii. I'm Dr. Pranab Gwali. I'm a gastroenterologist that has looked after patients with IBD for over 25 years. And in this video, which is a bit longer than usual, I'm just gonna go through each of those in a little bit more detail. So bookmark this. First up, L-glutamine. Now that's an amino acid that fuels the cells lining your gut. In leaky gut and IBS, the evidence is pretty strong. It reduces gut permeability, particularly in stressed individuals. It really supports the gut barrier. In Crohn's or UC, the evidence unfortunately is a little mixed. There's some benefit in remission and post-surgery recovery, but no real major impact in active disease. Food sources include chicken, spinach, cabbage, bone broth, Next is zinc carnosine. Now this isn't regular zinc, it's a bonded form of zinc and it's used particularly in Japan for a gastric ulcer healing. The evidence is pretty solid. In IBD, there's some promising studies in ulcer colitis. There's one that showed a better endoscopic healing in mild to moderate UC. Use only carnosine bound zinc and ideally under medical supervision. Last, Saccharomyces boulardii. Now this is a probiotic yeast not a bacteria. In leaky gut and IBS, it really helps restore the microbiota, improve the gut microbiome, particularly after antibiotics. In ulcerative crisis and Crohn's, it may help prevent relapse with mesalazine and UC. Results are pretty mixed and it's not recommended during active flares or if you're on steroids. What these supplements show is some promise, especially in remission or post-flare, or in people with stress and gut-related issues. Now, in my opinion, used wisely and paired with proper diet, stress management and sleep management, I believe they can really help with stronger gut healing strategies.